With its high traffic volume, lack of access control, and mix of recreational, commercial, and commuter traffic, Alcoa Highway today experiences substantial congestion and safety issues. Continued growth and development in the area will only worsen these trends. As a result, TDOT has initiated a project to reconstruct State Route 115 between Singleton Station Road and the Little River, creating a six-lane, fully controlled access roadway to separate local traffic from commuter through traffic. The proposed project is intended to address transportation needs, which have been identified through coordination with local officials, agencies, and the public. Those transportation needs include increasing the capacity of Alcoa Highway and the level of service, correct roadway deficiencies, reduce crashes, and improve safety. This section of the Alcoa Highway improvements in Blount County will work in conjunction with six other active TDOT projects stretching from along the State Route 115 corridor between UT Hospital and McGee Tyson Airport. The Knox County section from Maloney Road to Woodson Drive is currently under construction. Construction activities are currently scheduled to begin in spring 2019 for two other sections, Knox County from south of Topside to Maloney Road and Blount County from State Route 35 Hall Road to the proposed interchange at Tyson Boulevard. Three of the remaining four sections, Knox County from Woodson Drive to Cherokee Trail, Blount County, Pellissippi Parkway to south of Singleton Station Road, and Blount County from the proposed interchange at Tyson Boulevard to Pellissippi Parkway are currently in the right-of-way appraisal and acquisition phase. The final section, Blount County from Singleton Station Road to south of the Little River, is currently in the preliminary design phase and is the focus of tonight's meeting. This section, called the Little River section, is currently under design and begins here at Singleton Station Road. This section ties into the Blount County relocated Alcoa Highway section to the south and continues north about two miles to the existing Little River Bridge at the Blount County, Knox County line. When the relocated Alcoa Highway projects to the south and the Little River project are completed, commuter and through traffic will have a fully controlled access facility from State Route 35 to the Blount County, Knox County line at the Little River. In order to achieve the purpose and need of improved safety and adding capacity, as well as maintaining traffic during construction, this section of proposed improvements to Alcoa Highway includes upgrading the existing four-lane roadway to a six-lane controlled access facility with frontage roads and interchanges. TDOT chose to expand the proposed roadway to the west in order to minimize impacts and to maintain traffic on the existing roadway during construction. Widening to the west enabled TDOT to reuse the existing northbound travel lanes by converting them to a northbound frontage road. Access on the southbound side of Alcoa Highway will be maintained by building a southbound frontage road to the west. The northbound and the southbound frontage roads will have access ramps to and from the new proposed Alcoa Highway. The new access ramps will allow traffic to make safer on and off maneuvers to and from the newly constructed Alcoa Highway. A barrier wall will separate the Alcoa Highway northbound and southbound traffic and eliminate the dangerous left turns across through traffic. Let's look at a few of the key features. Starting at the southern end of the project, Alcoa Highway and the Pellissippi Parkway interchange will be shifted east as part of the relocated Alcoa Highway project. Old Alcoa Highway, or the Motor Mile, will remain in place and in operation in order to maintain access to homes and businesses along the existing route to the south. Ramps will provide access to and from Old Alcoa Highway and Singleton Station Road. Instead of Singleton Station Road intersecting Alcoa Highway, as it is today, an interchange will separate through traffic on Alcoa Highway with local traffic on Singleton Station Road. The new frontage roads begin here at Singleton Station Road and continue north allowing motorists to access the businesses and homes along the corridor. Additionally, a greenway trail begins at Mimosa Heights Drive 
which facilitates pedestrian and bicycle travel. The Greenway Trail extends across the Little River Bridge and onto the next design section in Knox County. North of Singleton Station Road, the frontage roads and ramps intersect Lakemont Drive via an efficient free flow intersection called a double teardrop roundabout, which allows traffic to access destination on both sides of Alcoa Highway without stopping at a traffic signal. Continuing north to Topside Road, Another double teardrop roundabout interchange provides access to and from Alcoa Highway. Alcoa Way will be extended to Topside Road to provide access to properties located to the north of Topside Road and west of Alcoa Highway. River Trace Subdivision's access will be relocated south and connect to the new Topside Road interchange, providing a safer access to Alcoa Highway. During construction, access will be maintained to homes and businesses along the existing roadway. Let's now take a look at how the new Alcoa Highway and frontage roads will function. Traffic commuting to Knoxville and other destinations to the north will be able to use the new Alcoa Highway and will be separated from local traffic. Traffic traveling south will have the option of taking old Alcoa Highway to the Motor Mile or continue south to Maryville and other destinations along the relocated Alcoa Highway. It is important to remember that there are plenty of access points along the way for local trips as well. Local traffic traveling north will be able to access Singleton Station Road and the Motor Mile via the new interchange at Singleton Station Road. A unique feature of the northbound off-ramp is that the ramp will split to accommodate high expected traffic volumes and provide easier access to local destinations. Motorists will have the option of taking the left ramp for Singleton Station Road and the Motor Mile or the right ramp for South Singleton Station Road and the northbound Frontage Road, which provides access to all of the homes and businesses on the east side of Alcoa Highway. A northbound on-ramp provides trips north to Knoxville with access to Alcoa Highway. Continuing north, access to local homes and businesses on the east side of Alcoa Highway will be provided by the northbound frontage road. It is important to remember that the frontage roads, both northbound and southbound, will be one-way travel. However, several options enable access to either side of Alcoa Highway, such as Lakemont Drive. Here at Lakemont, the double teardrop roundabout underpass will provide safe and simple access to both sides of Alcoa Highway without the use of a traffic signal. As we continue to the north, another double teardrop roundabout interchange at Topside Road provides access to River Trace Subdivision and other local destinations. On the west side of Alcoa Highway, a new Alcoa Way and Greenway will enable local homes and businesses, as well as pedestrians, to access Topside Road, Frontage Roads, and Alcoa Highway. The new Greenway is located on the west side of Alcoa Highway and enables pedestrian access to both sides of the corridor. Like the northbound Frontage Road, the southbound Frontage Road will be one way. Heading south, all access is provided along the corridor by the new frontage road, while circulation is provided by the double teardrop roundabouts. At the Singleton Station Road interchange, the southbound frontage road and ramps will provide access back to the Motor Mile, as well as to the new Alcoa Highway.
This graphic highlights the project development process for transportation projects. TDOT is approaching the end of the design phase for this section of the State Route 115 project. The next stage includes purchasing the necessary right-of-way and easements and is anticipated to take 18 to 24 months to complete. Once the necessary right-of-way is acquired, the project will be eligible for construction funding pending available funds. Thank you for your interest in the Alcoa Highway reconstruction project. For more information, please contact Mr. Dexter Justice or Mr. Stacy Weaver.